October 9th, 2019. Just went through and dug out all the ginger out of the uh, ginger sweet potato row. Went through with the mower on high deck first and just blazed back the weeds and <laughs> uh, dense overgrowth canopy that was in there. Um, and then went through the shovel and uh, dug out a bunch of ginger. Uh, pretty good amount. Uh, I clipped a couple of sweet potatoes with the, the mower even though it was up on high. So I will uh, probably cook some of that up because I've been looking forward to those all season long. And those are pretty nice size too, I guess I should point those out. They're pretty sweet. Pretty excited about those. Looking forward to having some of those at dinner. But this is all the ginger. Uh, there's quite a bit here. Uh, I can't remember how many I put in. I think it was like 25 or 30. We got about 25 or 30 clusters. Uh, some, uh, some are really nice, big uh, ginger clusters like this. And uh, if you remember, these were just taken from uh, pieces that were broken off, just uh, growing stem that were broken off back early spring. I'll uh, I'll try and put a link down below to uh, the ginger propagation video. But uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I think I mentioned in other videos, I'll mention it now since I'm doing specifically ginger in this video. I think from now on I'm going to keep ginger in pots, bins, uh, that sort of thing. Keep them in the greenhouse. The ones that stayed in the greenhouse did surprisingly well over the summer despite how hot it gets in the greenhouse. So I, I think I finally found something I can use the greenhouse for. It doesn't just fry everything and turn it into a uh, four times a day watering operation. So uh, that is awesome. Um, I likely will eat some of this. I probably will share a little bit with friends and family or whatever. Uh, but for the most part, I think I'm just going to uh, plant it back into a planter in the greenhouse and let it ride. Because uh, nice to uh, nice to be propagating fast. You know, it was five bucks a pound when I bought it uh, at the store. And, uh, you know, I could eat it, but then I'd have to go buy more seeds to crank up for next year. Like, I'd rather just let it ride. And then, uh, if I do need it over the winter, uh, for getting a cold or, you know, any other kind of medicinal need, I'll have it in the greenhouse, fresh, if I need it. So, I really like that. Just thought I would, uh, follow up on this. Uh, didn't want to dig these up and then forget to film them, so I thought I'd just get out here and do it quick. So, uh, not bad. Uh. I'm pretty excited. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please do so down below. Uh, I always try to answer all our comments and questions. Uh, I don't have my headlight on me at the moment, but uh, I just brought the uh, that ginger into the greenhouse. I thought I would show you the ginger that's in the greenhouse here. I know the lighting isn't fantastic, but I think you can see uh, those are some massive ginger roots spread all through there. And I think this is the I think this will be the third year I've had these in this pot. And I have harvested some off when I need some, uh, but I keep uh, you know repropagating, letting it go dormant over the winter. And then uh, repropagating again. Anyway, uh, ginger is an excellent crop if you got a greenhouse or a way to manage it over the winter. Nice to keep your own in stock and just keep propagating from it. Okay, uh, let's look at the other one quick. Okay, so this is that bin of ginger that I was using for propagation. That's where all the stuff that's in that planter there that I just harvested out came from. So I just went through these and uh, plucked them off and propagated them out. Uh, but So these are all the original ginger that I bought back in the spring. I think I bought like 10 pounds, something like that. Might have been less. But uh, So these have been growing over the summer. And um, I'm going to keep these in also. I probably will put those and these together in some larger planter. Um, or uh, maybe a couple of planters. I haven't figured out how I'm going to manage that space-wise in the greenhouse yet. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd show the rest of the ginger as sort of a follow-up for uh, for those who follow the channel. And I know I had questions about the ginger over the summer a couple times, so I thought I would just close it out with that. So now, 
the video is actually over. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.